two dynamic actors, two fascinating takes. Let's have some fun. I'm Jeff Savage, and this is Take Two. Welcome to Take Two. I'm your host, Jeff Savage. Today, we are proud to welcome to set Galena White and Greg Jake Gibbons, two incredible actors with a wide range of experience on stage, on camera, and behind the microphone. Galena, Greg, welcome to Take Two. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. Thanks for having us. <laughs> Absolutely. Excited. Absolutely. It's great to have you uh, here in the studio with us today. I want to start off by uh, giving our audience a little bit of a background on who you both are and the experience that you had. So, Galena, can you tell our audience a bit about uh, your background and the type of acting you currently do? Um, sure. So, um, I got my start in um, stage. Actually, I was a stage actress. Great. I went to school for stage and drama and stage management. and. Um, and when I was in school, I happened upon an audition for an audiobook. Never heard of it before, didn't know what it was. Actually, I'm sorry, it wasn't an audiobook. It was um, a radio play. And I had no idea what it was. And I got the role. And that's how I got started into voiceover. Great. And so um, it happened to be a producer from the BBC that came in and um, we read from a book, wow. <laughs> and they produced it into a radio show. Um, Fantastic. And um, ever since then, I've just continued with stage and um, voiceover. And you currently do uh, voiceover uh, currently from your home studio? I absolutely do. That's fantastic. Greg, uh, same question for you. Can you tell our audience a bit about your background and the type of acting that you currently do? Sure, yeah. I spent probably 15 years in the radio business, so I cut my teeth behind a microphone in that aspect. And then I uh, had a realization that this wasn't what I wanted to do anymore. I wanted to take control of my career and my mm -hmm. finances. So I started to invest in voiceover, started to seek out classes, uh, learning business and marketing skills. Uh, and then working in the radio business, I had made a ton of connections throughout the country and it opened a door for me to take that first step into voiceover to become a radio imaging voice. Great, great. And from there, it just kind of snowballed. And once I got that first check, I was hooked and it was time to go. <laughs> gotcha. And that also transitioned into on-camera roles as well. You currently are an on-camera actor as well as a voice actor. Right. So I, in 2017 is when I stepped away from the radio business and I thought I was at a point where I could start reaching out to agencies. Mm -hmm. uh, landed with an agent here in the Dallas Fort Worth area, the Campbell Agency, and they saw potential there and started sending me out on auditions for TV commercials and I've landed a few and, and it's just kind of snowballed into that. Well, that's fantastic, yeah. that's fantastic. <clears throat> well, um, in the acting world, we find ourselves in uh, unique situations <laughs> where you know, things don't always go as planned. Uh, Galena, I'm going to ask you, what's the funniest or worst thing that's ever happened to you on set, on stage, or while in session? So we're in class and we have um, an actress who's a very great actress, but she's a comedic actress. And um, in class we had to do all kinds of different styles of acting. And, um, you know, you're going to goof, you're going to be silly, you're going to do everything. But sadly, um, this actress could only stick to the comedic. So it was just really, really funny um, watching somebody try to go from that comedic, you know, energy into something really serious and didn't quite connect and <laughs> bless her heart. She was she was great. She's a great person, great actress. I, I just I say bless her heart because she tried so hard. You know, you could <laughs> see she was trying so hard and I, I like I read in my heart, I reached out to her. I was just like, you can do it, you can do it. And it just never really transferred over. Um, but we all had a really, really good time with it. You know, we had a great time. She wasn't upset and we weren't, you know, mean or anything like that. But just that whole entire experience, just her being so comedic and trying to be serious and just her style, it's just something really serious was still extremely funny. So it's, 
it, yeah, it didn't quite work. Gotcha. Yeah. You know, yeah. so, so sometimes we uh, we gravitate towards certain genres in, in acting, and sometimes, you know, acting is putting yourself into a, a different box you're not used to. But, but uh, Greg, uh, what's the funniest thing that's ever happened, or worst thing that's ever happened to you on set? Yeah, so <coughs> I was shooting a commercial for Mizzen in Maine, the, the shirts, the okay. really fantastic stretchy shirts. You should pick up a Mizzen in Maine shirt if you don't. Um, this didn't make the cut in the final commercial, but there's a scene where they're talking about the versatility of the shirt and how you can be whoever you want. So I'm standing at a grill and I'm making hot dogs, right? So it's like, hey, you can wear this shirt outside to make hot dogs. Well, there's supposed to be a little cutaway to where I'm, I'm standing there just kind of smiling with the tongs and a hot dog. And on the sides, are all of the the PAs, right? The production assistants, and they all have hot dogs. And it's a slow motion shot, and they all throw the hot dogs. So there's just imagine like all these hot dog wieners are flying by, right? They're just going all over the place. Well, I get hit by two of them. And you know, everybody on the, the set behind the scenes, everybody just starts cracking up because there's our guy who's getting hit in the face with hot dogs. And you know, it was one of those deals where it's like, man, I really wish that that scene would have made it into the commercial, but they ended up using another one that was slow motion of them throwing footballs around. Luckily, I didn't get hit in the face with a football. So, being actors yourselves, I'm sure that at some point in time, somebody's come up to you and said, um, how do I get started as an actor? You know, uh, or they're an actor themselves who wants your advice on taking the next step forward. What advice might you give to someone, Galena, who's just starting out as a voice actor? Sure. Um, my advice would be to research and to study. Research, 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 then study, study, study. Um, there are so many genres that you can get into, things that you wouldn't even think about. You know, people might think, oh, there's radio, oh, there's cartoons, you know, that type of thing. But then there are so many more genres that they may be more f suited for it that might be your niche. You're not going to know that unless you do some research. And then once you do, you've got to study. You have to study your art. Mm -hmm. You go to a doctor who's been to medical school. If you want to be an actor, you go to acting school. So in order to perfect your art, you have to study and network, research, and find your niche. Don't be afraid to fall. Um, just get back up and, and um, just be nice, be kind, and put positivity out there. You'll get positivity back. And um, just be, just have your eye on your prize, whatever your prize is, and just go for it, you know. Um, if you see a genre that you think is yours, go to classes. Be the best that you can be and hone in on your, on your art, is what I would say. Training and in, uh, in learning is it's a constant. And as actors, we never learn to a certain point and say, I'm now an actor and now I don't need any more training. It's a constant, uh, constant training cycle, so that's very important for sure. Greg, same question to you. Uh, what advice might you give to someone who's just starting out as an actor? Yeah, I mean, Galena said a lot of the same things that that I went through or that I tell people. Um, it, it, this is a very close-knit industry. Uh, burning bridges and thinking that you're better than somebody else is not going to get you very far. Uh, I would say watch. Don't, well... Don't watch social media because what's going to happen is you're going to be new in the business and you're going to start to follow all these specific people and you're going to see all of their accomplishments and it's going to start to give you this self-doubt. What's that? It's like that uh, imposter syndrome imposter is what syndrome, it's called. Sure. So be very careful if you're going to start to look on social media, if you're going to find some of the professionals, don't do it because it's going to really knock you down a few steps, which maybe you need that to kind of give you that motivation to be better. Um, I would say be very genuine and authentic in who you are, um, you know, and, and the classes, the training, the, um, the research, like she said, it's just a, it, it's very crucial to finding out who you're going to be uh, in the arts and that'll, that'll help you a ton. So, yeah, I mean, your answer was spot on. I'm just backing it up. <laughs> and patience too. Patience, you know, you yes. have to... 
You have to have patience, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, and you will be told no a ton. You're going to fail a ton in this business. So if you're... Or you'll get ghosted. And you right. won't even hear the no. <laughs> right, yeah. yeah that's, the other, that's the other thing. That was one of the things I had to learn when I first got into the business and I started getting agency representation. And it was weird to me that I would audition, I would get a call back, and then suddenly I wouldn't hear anything. And I would call my agent and be like, what's going on with the job? And they're like, it's booked. You didn't get it. And so it's like, oh. So you don't let everybody know? <laughs> and then they're like, no, no, no we don't have enough time to do that. Exactly. So it's just, you know, you do the audition, that's part of your job, and then you move on. You, indeed, indeed. You know, as a actor, training is very important, and improv training is one of the most important skills as an actor to have. After this break, don't you're not going to want to miss this. I'm going to put these two fabulous <laughs> actors in the hot seat for a segment we like to call Cold Read Improv. <laughs> we'll be right back. We all have our favorites. Favorite sports team, ice cream flavor, color. According to Animoto, videos are consumers' favorite type of content to engage with on social media. Need help with your video marketing strategy or content? Learn more at SyncLabMedia.com. Hi, I'm Jeff Savage, marathon runner and author of the number one Amazon bestseller, Savage Resilience, Conquer Adversity and Be Your Own Hero. In this powerful book, you'll discover correlations between what it takes to finish a marathon and what it takes to be successful in any long-range goal you may have. Order your copy of Savage Resilience today on Amazon or by visiting jeffsavageonline.com. The audiobook is also available on Audible and the iTunes Store on Apple devices. I'm Jeff Savage, and I encourage you to conquer adversity and be your own hero. Did you know viewers absorb 95% of a marketing message while watching a video? Need help with your video marketing strategy or content? To learn more, visit SyncLabMedia.com. Welcome back to Take Two. This segment we like to call Cold Read Improv. We're going to put our two actors in the hot seat to have them actually act for this segment. What we do is we hand our actors a 30 second script that they're going to cold read and they're gonna pull a personality trait out of this bowl here and read it in that style. So, Galena, I want you to pull a personality trait from the bowl and... Uh... Oh my. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this will be interesting. So, <clears throat> tell the audience uh, what you chose. I am going to be Sobbing. Sobbing sadness. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, here is the script that uh, that you're gonna read in the in the tone of sobbing sadness. All right. <laughs> Do you remember parasailing off the coast of Jamaica? The way the water sparkled below, the beautiful green blue gradient of ocean. <laughs> of the wind lifting you as you were literally flying <laughs> the sound of the air gliding against against the silken canopy of your sail <laughs> do you remember paris sailing off the coast of jamaica no well make more memories for your senses and travel <laughs> Do you need a hug? Oh, oh very, he's a hug. very, very good. Uh, so it's soft. Very good, Galena. That's my shirt back there. But no, <laughs> All right. Uh, Greg, uh, your turn. Uh, please choose a personality trait from the bowl. All right. Let's see. I'm actually starting to cry. Seductive. Seductive. <laughs> All right. So here's the script that you're going to read in the tone of seductive. Ooh. Okay. I don't even know what seductive is. <laughs> it's amazing I'm married. Okay. <clears throat> Ready for some fun in the sun? Not without our oversized beach towels. Scott's Surf Shop has everything to cover you at the beach, including swimming apparel. Sunblock, scuba gear, flip-flops, and oversized beach towels 
made with shakeaway technology that makes sure you leave the beach at the beach. Before you drive to the cottage, stop by Scott's Surf Shop to start your summer off right. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Way to go. Way thank to you. Go. Thank you. Fantastic. Well, you, you put your acting skills to the test. Uh, yeah. And uh, showed our audience what it's like to, uh, the fun, the, some of the fun aspects of being an actor. But uh, let's, uh, let's shift gears here a little bit. Yeah. Um, Greg, what is the next step in your acting journey? Oh, man. Okay. So I went from radio into voiceover into commercial acting. I want to get into more theatrical uh, TV, film type stuff, but I think my ultimate goal in getting there, if I get into theatrical uh, acting, I want to I want to be killed in a murder movie, in a horror movie. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's it. Like that, I, that's that, the, that's the long explanation of I want somebody to just murder me in a horror movie. Wow. Just however it is, you know. Head explosion, cut in half. Um, Chucky jumps up and stabs me in the eye. I don't care. I think that that would be a fantastic introduction into theatrical, you know, movie making and film. Oh, so fantastic! I mean, I guess it could die? be on TV. Do you have a good die? You know, can you die well? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Maybe. That. That's, great. That's almost like the uh, the Final Destination movie. Yes. Is the, the villain is invisible, so you never actually see yeah. it coming, <laughs> right. which is always a creative way to die on yeah. camera. Well, yeah, so. I mean, I just, you know, it's something that I have to work on, but I think it would be really fun. I mean, and that's uh, the beauty of acting. You get to live out or die out yes uh, a fantasy yeah you know? so yeah. it's weird that that's a fantasy but it's back there in the back of my mind somewhere <laughs> well great great well <laughs> good luck to you on your acting journey we Thank hope you. to uh, see you on the big screen uh uh being killed off at some point <laughs> yeah but uh galena what's the next step in your acting journey well um i'd like to stay alive <laughs> <laughs> um you know i i am already doing stage I would like to do that a bit more. I like stage. Um, camera, on camera, I think maybe, maybe that. And just, you know, just to stay active, just to stay working, um, and just to continue to elevate myself um, and just onward to bigger and better all the time. Well, that's, that's fantastic as well. Uh, Galena, Greg, Thank you for being guests on our show here, Take Two. Uh, I want you to uh, be able to tell the audience, how can they find you on social media online? Uh, where, uh, where are you hanging out these days, Galena? So you can find me online everywhere at audiblyyours.com, audiblyyours. Um, social uh, is my, my social tag is audiblyyours, and um, yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's it. <laughs> Fantastic. Greg, uh, where are you hanging out online these days? Yeah, so the website is pri my primary spot. So that would be Greg Jake Gibbons, G I B B I N S dot com. Uh, Instagram, uh, LinkedIn, Facebook, all at Greg Jake Gibbons. And um, yeah, let's, let's work. Let's go. Let's do it. Oh, great, great. Well, fantastic. <laughs> Thank you once again to uh, Galena White and Greg J. Gibbons for being our guests here on Take Two. Once again, I'm your host, Jeff Savage, and we look forward to seeing you next time.